So okay. What's your next question. So my next question then is so then when I I'm gonna update my calendar with just the skeletal uh, daily stuff that's happening. But then when I want to post an assignment, can you can you show me where I go to post an assignment? Yeah. So that's when you're gonna go back to your classroom. Oh, not that classroom. Nope. No. Did you? Did it not pop through? So I think you can click on that little guy, this little icon. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I was like, I know. how do you have yours set up? I know. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. So, um, is this, yeah, so this is your Spanish one uh -huh. class. Okay. So normally whenever you go to your, your class, you're on your stream. So here, if you're going to just post an announcement, this is where you're going to post your announcement and you can schedule it. So, okay. so let's, let's do that okay. for like the syllabus. Yeah. Let's do that okay. for the science syllabus. Okay. So right now it's set for just the Spanish class, just so you know. So if you wanted to set it for all of your classes, oh my goodness. Um, okay. then you could just click on all the classes that you want to say, Hey, don't forget to return your syllabus. Wow. Um, or if there's just one student that has not returned their syllabus, you can click on which student needs to return their syllabus. Oh my gosh. That's great. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that okay. part. Okay. okay. Then share with your class. Oh, this is all caps. August 19th. Okay? Okay. And so, because we don't want to post this right this moment, we're going to do the down arrow right here, and we're going to schedule it. Oh, my gosh. And so, we're going to schedule it, and we're going to put the date of the first day of school, so yeah. the 18th, and we can leave it at 8 a.m. Okay. Um, if you want to, because it doesn't really matter. They'll still they'll get an email, and we'll just remind them. And then you'll press the word schedule. Okay. And so, now it is scheduled. And you'll see it under where it says saved announcements. So, okay. you can click down on that. You can delete it if you need to, or you can click on it, and then you can edit it um, if you need to edit it. Okay. Um, the only thing you cannot do is you cannot um, un you can't unschedule it unless you just delete the whole thing. Okay. So if for some reason you need to delete the whole thing, my suggestion would be to um, highlight all of this if you're going to still use it, mm -hmm. copy, and then paste it into either your Google Keep or your holding area so that okay. way you can then use it at a different time. Okay. okay, perfect. And so we can cancel that. And so there you go. You have your so, saved announcement. Okay, and so you said that the students would be getting an email. They're going to be getting an email that says your Spanish class has posted this new announcement, but they can also come to this homepage, right? Correct. Yeah, okay. and actually in the email that they'll see, they'll actually see your, um, your little instructions. Oh, perfect. In the announcement. Okay, great. So it'll say Spanish one sent an and has a new announcement, and then it'll say, Hola, please bring your science syllabus to class by Wednesday, August 19th. Okay, fantastic. Okay. Um, and then if you wanted to create an assignment, uh -huh. okay, something that is being um, graded, you would go to classwork mm -hmm. and then you would click the create button. Um, the only problem is, again, we're not doing um, all of our assignments through Google Classroom first. We're actually going to do that through RenWeb first. So okay, you would go so to, to RenWeb. Mm -hmm. So and I you, think you need to go back to the home page because I have all my other stuff pulled up. There we go. Okay. And so then, well, but we still have to go to the classroom. Yep, yeah, classroom. Is it going to still go to? Because then you have to select, I think, just my classes. I'll show you. Okay. Mine looks a little different. So just click my, yep. Gotcha. Okay. So then we would click on your Spanish class, whichever class you're going to go to. Um, obviously, this is that home page of attendance. So you're just going to go to Gradebook. Okay. And as long as you have your grade book set up, which, okay, which, um, so we can really quickly set that up okay. and do our weighted categories and everything. So to do that, um, so to do that, to do that, if your computer is not, um, elongated like this, you'll end up having like three little dots that will come up. And okay. then the second option is the options and you want to click on the options button. Okay, great. And here you're going to have your default stuff. We're not doing anything with load defaults here. This um, for the calculation needs to change to percent. It doesn't matter if you're grading with points or not, you're still going to do everything by percent in, in RunWeb because okay. Google Classroom will actually um, generate everything you need for it. So that does there. everything have to be out of 100 points? No. Or 100%? No, okay, no. You can do everything by other points. Like I can have a packet that's 420 points, um, but it will like figure itself out whenever okay. you sync everything. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of nice. So we have our percent and then we do, we're do. we doing everything by semester, not term, okay. and you don't have to worry about um, decimals because that doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and then preferences, we are going to leave the treat missing and incomplete as a zero, but we're going to take the capping um, of everything away. 
Okay. Um, and then letter grades, they all stay the same. And then our grading codes, you do need to load your default code. So you just okay. click on load default codes and it loads them all. And so you're good there. And then we're Wait, going... Wait, so let's go back uh -huh. for the sake of anyone else that's listening. So these are the things that we are going to put in when and if a student has an absent or an incomplete or a missing or pending grade, right? Potentially. So because we're not technically putting grades directly into RenWeb, we're putting them into Google Classroom and then you're syncing your grades from Google Classroom to RenWeb. Mm -hmm. um, these can, these codes can technically become obsolete, um, but there's a good chance that if you were to sync the grades and you just hadn't returned them, then technically, yes, you could put an M in on the RenWeb gradebook okay. to alert the student um, that way, but they're also going to get alerted via Google Classroom as well. Got it. So you can still use them. It's just not going to be used as what we did last year. In okay. Perfect. Um, and then there's nothing else. The standards, those all just stay exactly however they are. And then if you do have multiple classes and you want to um, take these gradebook options and you want to, you want to um, repeat them in your classes, you can actually just click the select classes mm -hmm. and it will let you click every class that you want to put those gradebook options in. Okay. Now, some of those gradebook options, um, it can just be this section or if you go in and you go ahead and put your categories in and let's say you have multiples of the same class like for instance I have three biologies that all have the exact same categories and options and everything I can go in put my change my gradebook options then I can go in and change my gradebook categories and then I can come back and I can copy all of those to each class so then I don't have to go and do it three times got it I just do it one time okay okay perfect and so then I'm going to save this mm -hmm. and the box will not close it will just say gradebook options saved up here so you just press the x button Okay, and then so that's the very first part. Now we've got to do our category. So again, if your computer's not elongated, you go to the three dots and it'll be your third option of categories. And you click here and obviously you won't have any categories. So you'll click the plus sign. Okay. And you'll type in your first category. So if you have homework or reading. Okay, and then you're gonna tab over and you're gonna give the percent weight, but you're not gonna put a percentage um, after the number. So if it's 10%, you're just gonna put 10. If it's 30%, you're gonna put 30. Okay. And then you're gonna leave term one, term two alone. Okay. And you don't have to put a description here unless you really, really want to, That's like okay. your students need to have some explanation. And then if you wanna do the color coding, you can totally do the color coding and pick a color. Oh, sure. Colors you don't have to. Let's pick a color. Okay, so which color would you like? Uh, let's do that one. Okay, Perfect. so then we're gonna save that. And so now you have your first saved category. So then you're gonna put another one because remember you have to get up to 100% in your categories. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then tab, tab over and do your that is percent. 30, okay. Okay, and then you can pick another color. Okay, let's just pick this turquoise. Okay, and then we're gonna save that. Oh gosh, and this is so helpful. Then we're gonna add another category. Writing. Okay. Okay. And so maybe green. Okay. Let me save that and then. Okay. I got two more. Add another category. Okay. Okay. And so yellow, I guess. Okay. And then, and then one more. Last category. I'm just going to post test notes because it might be different. It might be, not be a test. Okay. okay. And do you want to do your pink or the smoggy color? Oh, I forgot. This is oh. this is worth yes. 5%. Okay, so delete. Okay. okay. And then I'll do the pinky. This one? Yep. Okay. Great. Okay, and then we'll save those. So okay. now you've got all of those, and you don't have to actually click the save button because technically once you entered them all in, they okay. were all saved. Great. Um, and you can always change your labeling if you need to if you're like, you know, oh, I don't like that color anymore. <laughs> you can change that. Okay. So then we'll X out of here. And to make sure that everything saved the way you want, mm -hmm. where it says all assignments up here, you're going to click down and you should see all of your categories. Awesome. And so you can technically just click on one category to see all of the assignments that you put in that one category if you feel like it. Okay. Um, so just in case, like, you don't want to have to look at every assignment that you have done. So to make an assignment then in RenWeb, because again, we are wanting to sync everything to our Google Classroom. And so to do that, we're gonna create our assignments in RenWeb first and then link them or create them into our Google Classroom um, okay. by one step. 
Okay, so I think I have my first assignment. Okay, so we're gonna click on the assignment button right up here, and it's gonna bring up your little assignment box. Okay. And you don't have to do as much here as what maybe we did whenever we were just using RunWeb, so that's kind of nice. Um, very first thing you do have to do is you have to click which category it belongs to. So is it going it's to be? It's going to be reading comprehension. Okay, so we're going to click on the reading comprehension, and then uh -huh. you're going to click on your title. You're going to click on the title, and you're going to put in your title of your reading comprehension. Okay, it is going to be um, Isabel and Ronaldo. Okay. Okay. And so you can, if you want to, you can um, highlight that and then um, copy, like press your either control C or however you copy. Okay. And so that way, when you go into, um, actually, no, you wouldn't have, sorry, you wouldn't have to do that for your Google Classroom. It's okay. if, if you typed anything in here. Oh, my God. I'm so okay. sorry. That's fine. Yeah. So if you type something in there, which again, you don't have to. We don't have to because everything's going in Google Classroom. Correct. Right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. And then remember, you don't necessarily have to do a date assigned or date due here because again, it's all going into Google Classroom and you're going to put the date due there. Okay. But if you want to keep it consistent so that way your students aren't looking at RedWeb and looking at Google Classroom and saying that doesn't make any sense, you can change the date due if you would like. So okay. Do you let's do that. that. Okay. So date due is Thursday the 20th okay and then how many points is it going to be out of oh gosh um 20 points okay so you're just going to put 20 then in there okay so again this is thinking like if i do everything out of 100 percent, you're not going to change the point value it will just be 100 all the time okay got okay it. but if you oh, do okay. things by point system where a 20 out of 20 is 100 then you'll change your points so if you're doing percentages, it's everything just, it's 100 points because that is the 100%. Whereas if you're doing- So everything stuff, is equally weighted is what correct. you're telling me. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Everything okay. is equally weighted, but then categorically they're not because we set those percentages up before. Correct. Okay, yeah, good. and just remember that um, only the title mm -hmm. pops through to Google Classroom. So okay. your date due does not, your category does not, and your max points do not. Okay. So you will still have to change those when we get to Google Classroom. Okay. And don't worry about the weight thing because remember we have picked our category so it already has everything weighted like that it needs to okay so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down oh is it 17 or 20 is that we said 20 points. no for some reason it went that's to, weird it says 17 okay <laughs> okay perfect so um we're going to scroll down okay and we're gonna click on where it says google classroom great okay now if you accidentally made an, an assignment in google classroom totally fine um, you can actually click on this down arrow right here and you can try and find it. Okay, so oh, here okay. you had already made an assignment and that's yeah. totally fine because you could have clicked on that and said, okay, I want to link that assignment to my run web assignment. Okay. But we didn't do that, so we're going to create new and that's literally all you have to do. And so now we just save and close. Okay. Okay, and so it's going to save it and it's going to save it into our run web so we'll be able to see that assignment on there here in a moment. Okay. <laughs> Potentially. Yeah, oh, why is it so, oh, there we go, oh, good. Oh, Renweb. <laughs> and there you go, and look, it's color-coded. Oh, look, it's color-coded. It's so I never nice. understood why other teachers had color-coded ones. Yes, yeah, so now it's all color-coded. I color never knew I could do that. Okay, fantastic. Yes. Okay, and so then um, you can go back to your, um, nope, you can go back to your Google Classroom. Here, I'll just click on here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so then we're going, oh, there you go. It popped oh, right there. Oh, there's a draft. Okay, and so fantastic. because it's a draft, um, that means it's not, it hasn't posted yet, which is okay. great. Okay, um, now the other thing that you didn't, you haven't done yet in your Google Classroom is you haven't created your um, topics. So remember, these don't go into those categories and our topics are our categories, okay, okay. for our class. So okay. we're going to do that really quickly so that way when we fix our draft of our assignment, we can put it in the correct categories that it belongs to and everything. Okay. So we're going to create, we're going to create topic. Great. And so this is where you're going to put your very first one of reading comprehension. And okay. you're going to press the add button. And then we're going to keep just doing that. So click another topic. Okay. Okay. And create another. It's okay. This is so helpful. Oh, spell check. No, <laughs> I'm just gonna click on it. <laughs> Hold on one second. There. Okay, next one. Performance. <laughs> and. Last one. 
last but not least. Okay? All right, so now we've got all of those added. Now, the, awesome. the thing is, so we've got all those, but we just need to make sure that all of our grade book stuff is also um, congruent with our RenWeb gradebook. So you can do this from any page on your Google Classroom. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be in the stream or people or anything like that. You just click on this little gear tab right here. Okay. Um, you can leave the class description alone. You don't have to change it. Don't change the name. Leave that alone. Um, and then you're going to scroll down and you're going to make sure that you have, <laughs> you're going to make sure that you have for general that the stream is only teachers can post or comment. Okay. Um, you can do condensed notifications for the classwork on the stream or you can do like involved so that they, they can kind of see all the instructions and everything, but that's kind of up to you. Um, what do you recommend? Uh, I do the condensed just so that way I don't have to keep scrolling and scrolling yeah. and scrolling. Yep. Um, and then obviously guardian summaries need to be clicked on. And then you also should have already done your Google um, Meet link. And if you did, then you should be able to see it here and it should be visible to your students. If not, you can also create that link um, very easily by just pressing create link. Okay. Okay. And so then down here with grading, so none of your um, categories are in and we don't have a weighted system. So this is where we're going to click on this down arrow and we're going to click weighted by category. Okay. Because we're not doing total points because otherwise nothing is weighted a specific certain way. It's just everything's worth the same amount. Okay. Um, and we're going to show overall grade to students because they get to see that in RenWeb. So we want to make sure that they can see that in um, Google Classroom as well. Okay. And then here's where you're going to add your grade category. So you're going to type so in your... So I have to do this all again. You do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to type in your reading comprehension. 30. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to add another grade category. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's okay. I clicked too fast. Okay. 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 And if you're unsure if your math is correct, it does give you remaining. So once you get to 0%, you know you did everything the way you're supposed to. All right, so we've put everything in. And um, I don't know if you noticed, but once um, before you had the 5% in there to make this 0, the Save button doesn't pop through. Oh, okay. So you have to get to 0% before okay. you can technically save. Great. So you can't just put one category in and say, I'll finish the rest later. Yeah. So we're then going to press the save button right here. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now everything is ready for you to kind of add things in. Okay. Okay, so we're going to click on our Isabel E. Ronaldo, and we're going to edit the assignment. Okay. Okay, and so we're gonna click on edit assignment. So this is where you would then try to type in all of your instructions for it. So if you wanna go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, okay, please read the letrito. Uh, does this have a Spanish, like, do we have, does this have a Spanish thing that I could type? Um, you have to make sure that your Spanish font is you okay. have to, yeah. We Can have to you help this. me with that, maybe? Potentially. Okay. PE sports skills. Is that her teaching? Okay. And answer the following and answer the attached questions. Okay. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Okay. All right. So you've got your. Okay, and answer the attached questions. So is this going to be a handout for them? Yes. Okay, so it might not be a bad idea to um, let them know this will be a hard copy and it will need to be turned in physically. Oh, 
Okay. And I don't have to put the date because that's going to no, come No, you don't have okay, to put the date. Got it. And so if you're doing hard copy, then you don't need to worry about adding or creating anything because they're getting a physical copy and they're handing the physical copy back to you. But if, if I did, then I would just go to my Google Drive where I've already created the document. Correct. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you got can it. do the add button and then Google Drive, Great. link file, or a YouTube video. Awesome. Okay, okay. or I've create is like the creating a form, things like that. Like oh, a Google form. Okay. So yeah. I would I think I might want you to do that for me okay. later. But yeah. okay. Okay, so then you can see, okay, I have this assignment for just Spanish again. If yeah. it was something that you wanted to assign for every class, you could then click on that and click on whatever classes you wanted. Okay. If this assignment was for just one student or a couple students, um, you could again just click on those students. Mm -hmm. um, actually, it did populate through our points, which was awesome because it Good. didn't do that beforehand. So okay. that fixed. Yes. Okay, then we would click our category, and this is going to be under reading comprehension. So yep. again, remember you're clicking whatever um, category that you clicked in RenWeb. Okay. okay. And then you're going to put your due date. So this one we have our due date of the, the 20th. 20th, and we're not going to put a time. Um, unless you want to, unless you want to put that it is due at the very beginning of your class period. Um, you just got to remember that if you do that, then the students who have not clicked the mark is done button will then see that it is um, missing on their part. It will still say that as well, even if you put a due date. So if you choose not to do the whole mark is done thing for your class, mm -hmm then you won't put a due date at all okay. in here. You'll instead put it in your instructions and just make sure you tell your students, hey, my due dates will be included in the instructions of the assignment for the hard copies. Okay. Otherwise, you're gonna have to click the mark is done or realize that things are gonna show up that are missing. Okay. Even though technically they're not missing. Okay, but they won't turn up missing if I don't put a time or do, I ha or do they have to go back in regardless and do mark is done unless? Re regardless, they still have to go in and click the mark is done unless you choose not to put Got any it. kind of due date whatsoever. Okay, so I think I need to make sure that all, our, all of our students know they have to go back and do that on the first day of school. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so do you okay. want to put a, just a due date or do you want to also put just the time of your class? Oh, I think it's fine just like that. Okay, so then we're going to click off. And then, again, you have to click the topic. topic. Remember, topic and grade category should match. Okay. So we're going to click reading comprehension again. So both have reading comprehensions. Yeah. Okay, and then if for some reason you needed a rubric or you wanted to add your rubric here, you could add that so that way they can see that as well. Okay. Okay, and then we, we're not going to click assign. Um, mm -hmm. Instead, we're going to click schedule. So we're gonna do that drop down button, click schedule here, and then again, we are scheduling it for the day that you are assigning it. So you're assigning it on the first day of school. Yep. Um, it's being handed out. So here is also another option. You can choose to leave it at 8, 8 a.m. Um, before they come to your class, or you can make it not set until like at the very end of your class or at the very beginning of your class. It's really kind of dependent on I think I'd like you. to do it at the beginning of our class. Okay, so then just type in the time of your class okay. okay and then we're going to click the schedule button okay and so it is scheduled to um, go out at 11 30 on August 18th and I'll even tell you down here that it is there Great. and if you look down here here it is and it says scheduled for August 18th oh, awesome. 11 30 a.m. okay and you can always edit it if you need to like, okay for some reason you forgot something you can still edit it and all that kind of stuff okay awesome okay okay 